Hi, my name is Jada Lindau, and you are? Uh, my name is James Berardinelli. Welcome to Close the Creek. Thank you for having me. Who are you? I am running for Court of Common Pleas. Um, I've been a lawyer for 26 years. I'm currently the member of the Board of Governors of the Bar Association. I'm past co-chair of the Criminal Justice Section of the Bar Association and a member of the United States Supreme Court Bar. Um, I currently have a solo practice where I do mainly homicide defense. And uh, I was an assistant DA for a long, long time before that. And the reason I'm running is really two things. One is to improve the diagnosis of mental illness in the courts. Um, far too many of my homicide clients have mental illness, but no one realizes that despite the fact that they've had six, seven contacts with the system until they kill somebody. Um, and what I'm hoping to do is we can treat those things early on. Uh, we can save lives by doing that, not only of potential victims, but of those young men as well. So what I would like to do is order more intensive psychiatric evaluations of lower level offenders, particularly gun offenders, and then hopefully we find those mental health issues early on and get them help. And the other thing I'm very, very adamant about is improving the right to counsel for poor people um, in the justice system. Um, in addition to my practice, one of the things I've done the last three years, I've been on what's called the Council Fee Working Group, and that was improving the rates paid to people um, that were representing poor people in the system. We started, they were actually lower than Tupelo, Mississippi, um, which is disgraceful. And um, over the last three years, we've kind of been able to drag the city kicking and screaming to live up to their obligations to people. It's not fair to try to try someone for their life and not give them adequate representation. And because of the reforms we've done, a lot of uh, quality attorneys have come back into doing those cases so people get better representation. But we're not done with that yet, and I'm hoping to really be able to have a more direct effect on that uh, if I'm on the board. Why do you want to be a judge? Those are two similar to the two answers I just gave. Uh, the big one is I, over the years, I think I've seen just what a benefit it is to everyone to have an experienced person, but also someone that lives by the golden rule that treats everyone with respect that doesn't get black robe syndrome and more importantly is a good listener to realize that they don't have all the answers that they need to listen to both sides you know before they ever make a decision and take into other you know into account other people's perspectives and then the other thing is what I just talked about really uh, making sure the system works for everybody that people that have mental health issues or other issues get the treatment they need so that we make them you know law-abiding citizens as opposed to just you know not helping with those problems and then they end up in jail for the rest of their lives. And uh, we get them the right to counsel and get them the treatment they need and we can, uh, we can prevent that. What are your values on youth and children? Oh, I mean, I, I love children, I like yourself. Um, um, I don't have any on my own, unfortunately, but the thing I really would hope to do and that I like to see is instilling values of hard work, uh, perseverance, um, you know, in children. But at the same time, also understanding they are children. People make mistakes, and people shouldn't be punished for the rest of their lives for mistakes that they make when they're children. Um, and more importantly, that we really shouldn't try um, children in adult court, if that can ever be avoided. What is restorative justice to you? Restorative justice to me, I would say, is something that comes as close as it can to making both parties whole again you know, at the end of the case. It reaches a just result, um, you know, but at the same time isn't overly punitive. Um, it, and it, you know, it, it takes into account people's history and what maybe, you know, the underlying factors to why something happened. And so if someone's harmed, of course, you want to, you know, help them heal and so on. But at the same time, you know, you want to find out the person that harmed them, why did they do that? and how can you get them the help they need so they don't do it anymore. Good choice. Is there any last thoughts? I'm button 25 on election day, so please keep me in mind, James Berardinelli. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>